Hello guys, welcome to Friends in Tech, where we empower individuals by providing expert knowledge in industrial automation. So what you have here, this is a very comprehensive uh, setup. You can see here we have uh, motors, uh, forward drivers, we have uh, we have Star Delta, then we have Logo, then we have a PLC program. So everything inclusive, the hardware setup, and the software that is the code that you need to run this motor. So in today's video, we want to develop something of the sort because in our previous videos, uh, let me just open a new sketch here. So this is an empty sketch. So already you know how to maybe how to develop some ladder logics. So let me go with a soft PLC, uh, let's say logo for this for this case. So we want to develop ladder program or ladder logic for uh, Star Delta. So can we develop the hardware? Can we have the power circuit? How will we connect the the hardware that is logo PLC? How will we use these contactors? how you load the program so we are trying to develop something inclusive here that includes everything something that you can use out there with this you can use this to power compressors start motors so let's begin so the first thing is to develop the power circuit in my previous video i've talked about how you can uh, have uh, the power circuit for uh, for star delta but I haven't talked how we can include logo PLC, the soft PLC, into, into the connections. So the first thing is to add the three-phase supply. So press here. Then you just want to add, uh, let me just add three phases, L1, L2, L3, and a neutral, all right? So let me just go with this one here. So I select this one here, then press escape. So let me expand this window. So we have L1, L2, and L3. Then after that, let me just add uh, protection for short circuit. So I will add fuses here. I'll add fuses so you can come here uh, to fuses here. So you can add these three fuses here, or you can add this. So let me go with this here. Just add them there. Then after that, let me add a switch, a magnetothermic switch. So you can come here. I mean uh, here, there. Then just select this, this. Then you can add it there. You can add it there. So let me just uh, put it down here. Let's give some space. Let's give some space here. After that, in uh, in Star Delta, we have three contactors. We have the main contactor. So when you come here to contactors, you can select this one. This will represent the, your main contactor. Then we have the Delta contactor. Then we have the Star contactor. That's all you need there. That's all you need. That's all you need. All right. Then after that, you can add. Uh, you need to add. Uh, you need to add overload relays. You need to add overload relays so you can always come here. Uh, just a minute. Let me check where you can get overload relays. All right. Just a minute. Mm, not there. Uh, here all right so we have uh, let's check we have overload relays or thermal relays here these are thermal relays so you can add one here and you can add another one there so that's it then you need the motor so here for starting so you need uh, a three-phase induction motor y delta 
or a delta motor. So when you come to motors here, we have this one. This is just a three-phase motor. Then we have this here. You can see this is a three-phase Y delta. This is very important. You need a three-phase Y delta induction motor there. Yeah, we there. Escape. That's all you need there for this connection. Just a minute. Escape. Uh, delete that. Oh, what the hell? All right, there. Then this one you can have it there. So that's all. That's all you need. Then you can connect this using cable here. So you have to specify the width of the cable, whether it is with three or with four. You have to calculate your cable ratings. Then you can go with this cable here. The face wire. Let's go with the face wire. So we are using with three. So you can select this. There. 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 We can have it there. We can have it there. So that's all. That's it. So it's very important to know the right connection of uh, of star delta. You must have the right connection of star delta. So let me just align this first here. Then let me just use this. All right, all right, all right. There's a problem. There's a problem. Uh, there's a problem. Let me do something here. Uh, there's a problem with this type of contactors here. So escape first. Let's delete this type of contactors. Uh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Come to contactors here. You have to work with this here. Sorry about that. There. All right. So first. For star delta, this is very important. Look at the motor terminals. You have U1, V1, W1. Look at how they are they have been arranged. So this will be pretty simple. This will be pretty simple. So let's say that this is red, yellow, and blue face. Alright? Red, yellow, and blue face. So to get to connect this, we need this, the U1 and uh, W2 to be connected uh, to red face right to red face so you need to hook this like this so let me just connect this using here just a minute there then uh, let me connect it down here all right so i'll select the no uh, no 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 mm, just undo that All right, fine. So I can select this one here. Let me select the the face. And all you need is just connect it here. Then drop it down there. There. Then you have this one here. Can connect it down there. Can con can connect it there. Then finally this one. You can have it there. Then you can have it there. And that's it. Oh, shit. All right, let me just delete this. Let me just delete this too. Let me use this one here. There, you have it there. So, look at that connection. And let's just finish everything here first. So, I can just select here. Mm -hmm. Let's have it there. Alright. 
so this will be terminated here this will be terminated up here and this will be terminated here that will be terminated there that's just perfect so you realize that u1 is connected to w2 to the red face here look at that look at that loop here this is very important this is how you connect your your star delta all right this is how you connect your star delta the power circuit so u1 is connected to w2 v1 is connected to u2 to the yellow face so this yellow face uh, then we have finally blue face that is w1 is connected to v2 so it's very important and very easy so kindly all the time you have to check your motor terminations look at the termination block check the the terminals here u1 v1 w1 before they are hooked up in some motors you'll find that this is u1 then down here you have u2 you have v1 then down here you have v2 then you have uh, w1 then down here you have uh, w2 so you have to check the configuration right you have to check that configuration if it is okay then for for delta you just have to short the you just have to short the terminals here so i can use this here then i just have to short them here like this just like that then i can uh, use this it's something simple ah that won't work that won't work that won't work that one will not work here ah, just a minute that will not work let me just use it up here yeah there there okay that's good now then we can use this guy here to hook them up there the last one there so your power circuit is done for star delta if you try to run this to check if your connections are right here then let's just all right we have a problem yeah, we have to energize this uh, this contactor. We have to energize the coil of this contactor. All right, we have to energize the coil of this contactor here. All right. So just a minute here. there let's uh, simulate this again perfect so in order to energize the coil of this contactor there's only two way you can uh, you can do your control circuit we only have two ways so you have to tap 240 then pass it to a step down transformer that is uh, from uh, uh, up to 24 volts so when you are using 240 or whether you are using uh, 110 so you have to step it down to 24 volts then uh, have your power circuit or the other way is to use a plc all right the other way is to use a plc then have the entire uh, control circuit inside in terms of a, a plc program so for this case we want to use a plc and that is soft plc so you can come to io here then you can select logo so you are using this guy here uh, this is a logosoft very easy to use this logosoft very easy to use so with this plc all you need do you have to power this plc so you can see we have p1 and p2 here you put life wire then here you put neutral then we have inputs i1 i2 i3 i4 then we have outputs here then with logo you only have to upload this program using ethernet cable so you can use ethernet or you can use sd card so you load your program into an sd card then you put it here so logo this is a soft plc and it will be used here to just perform this work so you must find uh, you you have a compressor 
and you want a uh, total method compressor using logo so one way is just hook up things normally hardwire them or you can use a plc to do that work so you have to program it so the first thing here is uh, let's power this uh this guy uh, this gadget here uh, logo plc so how do we power logo plc so you realize in market now right now we have uh, those logo plc's that work perfectly with uh, 240 volts then we have those with, uh, that work with uh, those that work with uh, uh, 24 volts. So let me assume that in you have we have uh, most PLCs working with 24 volts. So what will happen is that we need a power supply. We need a power supply. So come to supplies here. Then you can select this one. So in power supply, that means that this thing here, this gadget will be using 24 VDC. That is 24 volts direct current so we need to convert the ac power into direct power so we need a rectifier so basically a power supply here so you select this here so you have this power supply here Ah, uh, this so this here we feed uh Pin number one, we feed life. Pin number two, we feed neutral. Then we get life. Neutral, then we have a thing there. All right, we have a thing there. So we can just uh, have this. Uh, I can decide to pick L1 here, neutral here. Uh, yeah, it's up to you. You can decide to do that. So let me just, uh, let me just use this one here. Then I'll use with two. Okay, for control, I'll use with two. So let me just use this one here. So let me just pick L1 there. 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 Then I'll pick neutral. There. There. I have it there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Just then hit escape. All right. So you can hit escape there. So let's just drag it. There a little bit. We have it there. So we can have P1 here. So I can decide to have this here down here, just there. And then there. Yeah. Have it there. So I can decide to put a single face, a uh, single face uh, uh, breaker. I can decide to put a single face breaker here. I decide to put a single face breaker so just here so you can select breakers uh, then you can have single face breakers mm, here uh, just here so this is a single face breaker there there that's just okay then you hook up complete the connection here so you can have p1 there and then you can have this guy there there so that's it so that is our that is our single face breaker then let's just add neutral here let's add neutral wire to p2 all right, all right so just i mean so there so that's it so let's try to power this and uh, it seems your logo is not powered so your logo is not powered so that means there's a problem with this there's a okay yeah there's no problem so we need to switch on this breaker and you see your logo is powered so this is how your logo is so this is how you can supply power to your logo in case you are using a, a 24 VDC a logo but if you are using a 240 then you just have to tap it direct then put it there so that's it so that's how you hook up your logo so the next thing is to write the PLC program all right the next thing is to write the PLC program so remember in our previous video we have developed this several times we have developed a star delta program using TI portal. 
We also developed the Delta program using logo. So it is something that we have done. So let's make it quick and simple. So you see here we have ladder. So we can decide to use ladder diagram or we can decide to use uh, SFC that is sequential function charts. So let's go with ladder because it is simple to use. So, so I have this here plus then I have minus here. So this represents the power rails. So this represents the positive power rails. This represents the negative power rails. So we all know the rules of uh, programming ladders. <coughs> so let me just use this here down there. Then uh, we have a neutral there. There. So let me use a uh, uh, width there. Uh, that is uh, width will be width one. All right. So when we come to ladder here, so you are when we press a start button, we want to start our process. So I will have a normally open there to represent start button. Then normally close to represent stop button. Then I'll have a coil to represent the main contactor. All right. Then I had I'll add hold on or what's called the latching there. Yeah. Then let's just connect them that there 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 and uh, then this guy let's connect it here so this is for this for latching so kindly confirm with our previous video if you want to understand how to program star delta in TIA portal so you can always check with our previous video so after that something very important here Remember for start button, this is a this is a push button, all right. So when you come to push buttons here, here, you can see we have drive buttons, then we have auxiliary contacts, then we have this is a, a, a automatic switch. So let's go for push button here. So these are normally open contacts, normally closed contacts. Uh, then we have uh let's go for a push button we don't need contacts here i don't know if i can find one here so this is a push button here so this is a push button so this is for start then this will be for stop we only need two push button for start and for stop that's it then you can just escape that then you can have this connection here just a minute you can drag it down there and drag it down there that's it. So let's connect this. And we use there. That's it. So just have that guy there. 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 So we want to connect uh, the start button. We want to connect the start button to this input number one. All right. To this input number one here. So there, all right, just a minute. Let me delete this here. So, this is how you connect, uh, this is how you wire your logo in real life. So, you are just trying to make you understand how to do this, it's really important. Okay, have it there. There, uh, there. Let's connect these two. Input number two. There. I guess we are done there. So something important here. When you want to, if you want this simulation to work, remember we have to provide the coils here because this KM. Let's just label this as KM one. Let's just label this as KM. KM1. All right, KM1. Then let's label this as KM2. KM2, all right. KM2. That is your second contactor. Then label this one as KM3. That is your third contactor. 
km3 there so that's it remember each coil here each contactor here it has a coil that is in a2 so it has a coil so we need to energize those coils using a using control circuit here so we need to power them here so i'll just have to add the coils here so just a minute so when, let me just come here then uh, i'll select uh, here let me select positive positive there let me select that then let me have there So this connection is also very important this connection is also very important all right all right then we have to add the contact uh, the, the contactors coil so km1 that is output number one so it will be here somewhere here then you have km2 that is output number two let's just put it there then you have km3 that is output number three so this k uh, the first this one here this one represents the km1 all right so this is the coil for the first contactor so you have to uh, rename it you have to rename it as km1 km1 this is very important also naming km1 so it refers that this is the coil of the first contactor and remember the connection is also very important guys remember the coil of contactor is found at a1 and a2 a1 and a2 so a1 is where you connect to your life a2 you connect to the neutral so this will represent the second contactor this is um, this, this will be km3 all right km3 km3 okay then this uh, this is km2 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 there here we there then just press okay then we just have to provide neutral here so neutral uh, basically ground all right uh, uh, there there all right uh, there all right then we are done so you just have to connect this to ground uh, just a minute first let me connect the output something very important here look at these outputs they are uh, they are really really enabled okay they are really enabled so it means that when this q1 is energized so it will complete the bridge so it will be able to connect uh, that is a uh, it can be a 240 volts to this coil here so these outputs are really enabled very important that's it there trust me this connection is very important when it comes to uh, when it comes to logo this connection is very important when it comes to logo that's it and we are done so how do you name your tags here the address you know I always tell people that address is very important when it comes to PLC programming so the address here so this is let me just name this one to be uh, rename the, the start button to be s1 so S1 represents the start button and S2 represents the stop button. S2 represents the stop button, all right? And the address is that this U1 represents uh, S1. So this is our start button. And remember, our start button is connected to I1. So you have to rename this one, uh, this tag to I1. I1 i1 oh there's a problem i1 there okay 
then this is our stop button so stop button is connected to i2 so just rename this also to i2 i2 there we have it there then just press ok then this is our q1 this is q1 so this is q1 there and press ok so then we have to refer it back here this is for latching latching is very important because we want this coil to be energized even after you release your finger from the start push button then let's just simulate this let's just simulate this and uh, let's just do that there all right so that's good then let me just energize this there so what will happen if i press the start button so if i press the start button i expect power up to this point up to this overload relay here all right i expect power to reach at this point so i expect the contactor i expect the the coil or the first contactor to be energized and this contactor should complete the contacts there so let me press start see what's happening that's just awesome look at the status of km1 and we have power up to that point it's just amazing and we have power to that point so all we need is to energize either this km2 or km3 all right all we need is to energize km2 or km3 for start and for delta for star or for delta and how can we do that how can we do that so so we have to add now another line that is another rank or another network here so you must have the logic right so we say that uh, in order to try to reduce the inrush current it is always advisable to start our motors or induction motors in star configuration before switching to delta configuration so i'll use a typical value of 10 seconds so you want to say that uh, you are stuck it, uh, your motor will be in star configuration for 10 seconds then after that it will switch to delta so we need a timer we need an on delay timer then we set that timer for 10 seconds so after 10 seconds it will switch to uh, to delta so let's do that so here I just have go to your ladder have normally open there so this normally open will represent the main contactor all right then have a coil so this coil this is for star that is for star then have a normally closed uh, let me let me leave it at that point let me leave it at that point just connect this guy here just a minute okay all right all right just connect this guy there i want to demonstrate something very important here okay then rename your tags here so this represent q1 q1 so the address is very important you need to get it right you need to get it right then this one here represents the the coil of of the star contact all right represent the coil of the star contactor and the coil of star contactor is km3 it's connected at q2 so rename this to q2 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 there and let's start let's begin our simulation Da, 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 da. Then press that button. All right, there. So we have a problem with the co with connection here. So we have a problem with the connection. It means that power is not reaching this point here. Power is not reaching to Q2. But why? But why? So let's just reconnect. Uh, let's just delete that. And try to connect it again and let's try to simulate it yeah 
yeah perfect so you see here something interesting is that now we expect your motor to run in star configuration but it's because we didn't create a connection at these points so we need to create a connection at these points all right so we need to create a connection at this point here very important uh, right there oh, what's happening and then escape this so let's uh, simulate this again have it there okay perfect so I believe your motor is running now whoa that's not the case why <laughs> so something interesting is that uh, we have the configuration right so it is in star configuration right now it is in star configuration but it seems our motor is not running here you can see that the motor is not running but why the motor is not running and everything is right everything is right but the motor is not running so where is the problem so let's try to find out where is the problem the other thing you should uh, you should probably realize right now is that uh, using this ladder diagram here only it means that uh, right now your motor will only run in stack configuration but you want it to run in stack configuration only for 10 seconds then after that it will pick up to delta configuration so let's let's do that so we need to add a timer here we need to add a timer so i'll come to i'll add normally open then I'll add timer. So we have timers here. Uh, we have uh, connection timer. We have timer off. We have inter intermediate timer. Then we have pass generator. So I will go with connection timer. I select connection timer there. Uh, that's it. Then let's just hook up this. Uh, there then after that uh, I have to start the Delta after the Delta so I I'll use normally open here okay then I'll add I'll add also normally open then I'll add normally closed then I'll add coil There, I there's a problem with my spacing here. I believe I don't have enough space, but let me just force the issues here. All right, All right. All right. there. Then let me just connect everything here. there okay perfect so let me rename this timer to t1 instead of uh, uh, let me rename it to t1 t1 then I have it I want it to go for 10 seconds so let me just say 10 10 seconds okay there so you can see it is 10 10 seconds then this is a uh, q1 that's Q1, that's the main supply. Our main contactor, Q1. Q1, okay, this is also Q1. 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 What about this one? This is now T1. Uh, T1. T1. 
then what about this this is now the interlock very important interlock it will be q2 why it will be q2 so it means that when star is running then there's no way we can have delta running so this is q3 this q3 for delta q3 uh, q3 for delta all right that is q3 for delta so also here i need to add i need to add some interlocks uh, i need to have some interlocks here so i'll add normally closed normally closed so let me interconnect let me connect these two there so here this will represent t1 uh, t1 and then we have this will represent a q3 q3 it means that when uh, delta is running we don't want we don't want start to uh, be running so let's just simulate that so when you run simulation let's see what's happening here mm. all right just a minute sorry about that so we expect this thing to stay in star configuration for Whoa, for 10 seconds so it's seven seconds now six four oh, three two and then there damn so it should be able to run this so there's a there's a problem here uh we don't have power up to this point so check that connection again here check that connection at that point let's reconnect them uh, there then uh, i think that 10 seconds is not 10 seconds that's a lot that's probably a lot okay so let's simulate this again hit simulation there all right yeah now that is 10 seconds perfect uh, still this issue with the power i don't know what is happening here uh, what's happening here oh uh, it seems we can't have power up to this point but why why this is off so this power should be off also let me check that this is supposed to be normally closed yeah that is true okay it's supposed to be normally closed but what's happening here why don't we have power what kind of connection do you have here I don't know what's the problem here. I don't know what's the problem, but let's find it out. Let's hit simulation again. We'll find it. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. It seems I can't find this problem here, but uh, let me zoom it out. Let me zoom it out so that you can see it clearly. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening here. There's some sort of discontinuity here. There's some sort of discontinuity here. Hmm. Try to reconfigure it now and then, but still not working. So let me start simulation and try to monitor it again. Yeah, let's try to monitor that simulation again here there have it there then down here still the problem persists 
so still the problem persists here i don't know why i honestly don't know okay what about if i delete this q2 here and let's just let's just delete that guy there let's troubleshoot this let's troubleshoot this let's troubleshoot this okay let's troubleshoot this and have it there so let's start simulation again let's start simulation let's start simulation all right so when you start simulation here let's see what's happening all right just turn it all right okay let's check <laughs> all right so the problem is q3 yeah so the problem is this guy here so the problem was you all along okay All right, there. So let's try to reconnect it. Let's simulate this again. Okay. Hmm. What's the problem with this Q3? Okay. I just I mean let me figure all right it is working it was a quite a challenge there uh, there was some uh, error with that contact so when you try to simulate this let's see what's happening here let me press start button so after 10 seconds you see it is switching from a star to delta I look at the status of your motor here uh, let me just take this there so you realize it is running so your motor is running but there's a still a problem here that it's not running in star that's why that's why we need to make some connection here so you need to make some connections here just a minute up here now you need to make some connections up here and let's simulate this again there start with that then let's power our device here the gadget then let's press start button so it is in stack configuration there's still the motor is not running but why why so that's the biggest question here why is this motor not running and it is in stack configuration all right so just put that there now let's do this again there start simulation uh, there okay let's start this device here there scroll down still the motor is not running but it is running in delta it's running in delta but it's not running in star it's running in delta and it's not running in star so let me configure that very fast you know sometimes it's really important that when you make such video uh, these videos uh, you learn you make mistakes you do some critical observations so i wanted to uh, there's a there's a difference i wanted to note here and uh, i picked for for showing this i pick them after or let me say before the overload so when you try to pick these lines after the overload it won't work but before the overload it will work perfectly so let's try to simulate this one for the last time have it there so let me just reduce it here 
so I have it there so let me start this and let me press uh, start button so you realize it's running in start for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds running in delta for the rest of the time and then you come and press stop button here then it will stop and again you can press start uh, like that so this is the complete connection uh, it's the complete connection for for star delta configuration using logo using logo this is the complete setup if you have this one and uh, someone gives you a compressor let's say you are using a piston displacement compressor and uh, you have to start it using star configuration and uh, you are told to use a logo so you have to do the exact a hardware connection here and you have to use this code also and it will work perfectly for you so thank you this is the end of this video kindly if you have any question i'll leave it in the comment and don't forget to subscribe